Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Samuel Travel and History. And if this is your very first time, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, I am in Malindi. I'm going to be visiting one of the oldest pillars that are uh, still remaining in the coast of Mombasa that was uh, erected by the famous Portuguese explorer that is Vasco da Gama. I want to give you fact files history about this place and please remember to subscribe share with your friends and let's learn history and uh, more about african history and all of that so remember to subscribe uh, so guys i'm here i'm going to be showing you the famous Portuguese pillar that was elected by the famous explorer that is Vasco da Gama and uh, with me I have a guide but because of coin uh, confidentiality he doesn't want to be appear in the picture but he's going to explain to us more about this pillar and uh, the reason behind it the purpose of it and more so this is the famous pillar so maybe you can just give me a little yeah. history about so, this place. As you have said, mm -hmm. this is the Vasco da Gama Villa uh -huh. that is found in Malindi. Uh -huh. And uh, it has a reason as to why it is in Malindi but not in Mombasa. Uh -huh. uh, it means Portuguese. Uh, they came to Afri East African coast uh -huh. as early as 1498. 1498, yeah. They came. Uh, for that side of Mombasa, the community or the natives who are there, they do not welcome them. So they were hostile for them, uh -huh. so they came on that on this side of Malindi. So the Sultan and his chief. Sultan, came. what is the name of the Sultan Masjid? Something yeah, of the yeah, sort. Uh -huh. uh, he, he gave them warm welcome. Uh -huh. So that friendship or that cordial relationship uh -huh. uh, resulted the pillar to be up to big. today where it is. Up to today. And then, uh, yeah, they put uh, in a way that. They have documented that this one is like a landmark, you know? A landmark. A mark of discovery. Uh -huh. They were looking for a way to collect uh, from this side of the African coast, uh, India, I mean Middle East. And, uh, so that is the sea route to India? Sea route to India, though okay. it is longer. It's longer. So they started from here, where we are, uh -huh. and then India is on the eastern side of Malindi. Uh -huh. And then uh, uh, the Portuguese or the Vasco de Gama himself, those explorers, they requested to give them a guideline eh? a guideline so somebody came up to up to india calcutta calcutta yes okay so this one for that purpose for, uh, it is said as a mark of discovery one two uh -huh. also by that time since they were using the ocean uh -huh. uh, it was also helping them in uh, their navigation way, tower, yeah okay yes. so i also there is somewhere i rent that uh there are some reasons that there are some major reasons that maybe scholars have documented it like uh, there are some purposes and the reason is why this was constructed and they have already given me one as a guideline to the sea route to india as a landmark but also there are other things about the community the community itself it has its own beliefs What I know, mm -hmm. uh, Portuguese, they insisted the pillar to be where it is today. To be where it is today. But originally, then, originally it wasn't here. Originally it wasn't here. Mm -hmm. They constructed or they put next to the palace of the Sultan. Uh -huh. Then on top they put that called the Tazid around. I had that cloth. Yeah. So because uh, Muslims, Arab are hundred percent Muslim. Yes. These guys they have forgotten that uh, when these gentlemen will realize that they are also uh, uh, putting Christianity where they are. Where they are. Uh, they didn't they were not happy about it. They were not happy about because it. Because of the religion. Uh -huh. So it was dropped down. It was put down. Uh -huh. Later is then when the both sides uh, have uh, a 
very uh, concrete or uh, proper discussion mm -hmm. about the pillar to be at least still to be remembered in Malindi. To be remembered in Malindi. Yeah, definitely then it was uh, erected a little bit far away from town. From so town. For this, for this that we are next to it, the, the pillar that we are next to, uh -huh. is the pillar that was re erected 16th century. 16th century, after the original after the one, original one that was brought down. down. Okay. Yes. Then, what is very much original again uh -huh. is the cross top. The cross top. Also, yes. the, that was the. Yeah, that was the aim, at least uh, Portuguese wanted for it to exist. To exist as a symbol of Christianity. A symbol of Christianity. Okay. And then to, to support that, mm -hmm. um, Portuguese, they are the ones who brought Christianity into the East African, the East African coast. coast. Yeah. So I think, uh, so uh, was it constructed using the, what is it, the cement, the coral? Manufactured, uh, locally manufactured cement, uh -huh. called limestone, uh -huh. they were carried there. Okay. So the, whenever they do some construction, mm -hmm. they, don't look, they don't look for, uh, what the word is called, model cement. For the cement? Yeah, they have limestone. Uh -huh. Then also they they also gave a knowledge of making it. Mm -hmm. the okay. So how how long does this pillar measure? How many meters or maybe what is the length of the piece? I don't want to guess. Uh -huh. You see the one of us with the pillar was not on this way. Calculation. Yes, my calculation. Calculation, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I might go with that, but if there is someone who knows their accurate measurement, yeah. he can just tell me how many meters it measures or maybe how many centimeters in length. So guys, this is the famous Vasco da Gama pillar that was uh, erected here in 1498 by the famous Vasco da Gama that is the explorer was trying to look for the sea route to India and uh, you can see it's just surrounded by uh, ocean shores and uh, I don't know whether what are these these the, these stones these are for at least the purpose of the wave breakers no? wave breakers yeah. okay uh, at least the walls you see that they are The pillar, from okay. The from the or when the the Small tides are, are high. Yes. When okay. The okay. It's nice. So, guys, that is the pillar, the Vasco da Gama pillar. And maybe people might ask, who is this Vasco da Gama? Uh, this gentleman, he was an expert explorer mm -hmm. who have a knowledgeable maritime. Mm -hmm. Who came all the way from Portugal, mm -hmm. and then some of his uh, colleagues. But he managed at least uh, to have a very nice hop from Cape of Good Hope mm -hmm. to this side of East Africa coast. And those people maybe who don't know, uh, you have just said another person was left in the Cape of Good Hope. So people might ask, what is this Cape of Good Hope? Maybe that is the southernmost part of Africa. Yes. Yes. So uh, that is the South Africa, and then uh, Cape of Good Hope. That is. Uh, where they got uh, a lot of uh, storms, storms, very strong storms. Mm -hmm. and then that Cape of Good Hope, in fact, that is a hope to show that uh, to their journey, their journey. as a hope to go to India. To go to India. But currently they call Cape of Cape, Cape, Cape Town for today, I think. 